Are you locked out of some of the features on your Anytone? Well, you might be in professional mode. In this video, we'll show you how to switch it to amateur mode or to professional mode, if that's what you want. Hi everyone, this is Cody from BridgeCom Systems. Now, amateur mode is going to fully unlock your radio. All the features on the keypad and everything are gonna be available to you. Now, professional mode, if your radio is gonna be in a commercial setting and you don't wanna be able to access all the features, all the buttons on the keypad, uh, VFO mode, et cetera, stuff like that, you can put it in that. Now, occasionally radios will come shift in this mode depending on how they came from the factory. And for what we want to do with amateur radio, we want it in amateur mode. Now we're going to jump into the computer and show you how to change it. Okay, so now we're on the computer. So now we're going to open up the CPS. So in this case, it's version 1.13, but it's going to be the whatever version you are using. And remember to run it as administrator. Okay, so we got the radio plugged in. We can uh, open it up from the COM port. Now I'm going to read from the radio. Now if you are building a code plug, you can just do this to your current code plug you're working on. Uh, if you just want to change the setting on your current radio, you can read from the radio and then we'll write back to it. Now what you're going to do is go to the optional settings, then go over here to other, and then down here where it says choose working mode, we're going to choose that to amateur or professional. So if your radio came in professional mode and some of your features were locked out, you want to go ahead and switch it back over to amateur. Uh, now, for us amateur radio people, it's probably unlikely you want to put it in professional mode. But if you're in a commercial setting and you want to have those extra features locked out, you might want professional mode. But in this case, we're going to leave it in amateur mode and say OK. Now, simply make sure your radio is still in the COM port, plugged in and turned on, and then write the other data to your radio. So hopefully this helped. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss out on any more great content that we have coming your way. We just want to help you guys out. Once again, this is Cody from BridgeCom Systems 7.3.